What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone's staying safe and healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. It's that time of the week where we take a look at our weekly COVID forecast. And we are using data from Hubbub World. This is a website. You can go to this website yourself if you want to. And basically what they do here is they have a model that predicts the COVID levels, uh, the influenza levels, the flu levels, and RSV levels. They have a local prevalence and they have an exposure risk. What we'll be using today is the local prevalence, but we will start off looking at the exposure risk. And you can see here on the exposure risk map, not too many areas of concern. Of course, New York City Metro is definitely a concern. Uh, you have Southern California, uh, portions of Arizona, and you do have some individual counties that are of concern for COVID-19. When you come to influenza-like illness, the exposure risk is much higher in many areas, especially portions of New York City, Texas, parts of California. There's a lot of different places that are seeing exposure risk. Parts of Ohio. So influenza-like illness is really a concern right now. RSV, less of a concern. And flu is also less of a concern. You do have a few uh, low to... I don't even want to say moderate areas, but areas of concern. Taking a look here at the local prevalence for COVID-19, and we will go state by state for this. You can see nationally, not terrible, but we do have it forecasted to increase, especially along the I-95 corridor in the Northeast, portions of the Great Lakes, Atlanta Metro, parts of Texas, parts of Florida, and parts of California. When we take a look nationally at the flu levels, you can see there are some areas of concern with flu. We'll get into that when we go state by state. RSV, couple areas of concern now for RSV. One in Florida, one up in Gann, New York City area. And influenza-like illness, yes. There's a lot of areas of concern for influenza-like illness. So let's start off here. We'll start off with uh, Alabama. We're not going to do every state. We're going to do some of the states. Here's Alabama, and you can see here, around the Birmingham area, COVID-19 levels are expected to be moderate. Remember, this index estimates the number of contagious persons that live within a five-mile walk of your area. Here's flu. Flu is not really a concern here, nor is RSV. Influenza-like illness is slightly higher concern in some other counties as well, not just the Birmingham metro area. All right, moving on to our next uh, area of concern. Let's go to California. California, you can see here, it's relatively high in the Bay Area and down in LA for COVID-19. So you want to keep yourself uh, safe in this area. And we did see, we've already seen, California's numbers came in significantly higher this week. I still don't know if there's any lag that was added in that, but nonetheless, the numbers are rising in California. Now, when we come down here to flu, not too many areas of concern, just a slight concern in the forecast for the Bay Area and the LA area. RSV, similar deal, just a slight concern. Influenza-like illness is expected to be very high in the LA area and in the area of the Bay Area, and that's something we are concerned about. Coming down here to Connecticut, let's take a look at Connecticut, shall we? And you can see influenza-like illness in Connecticut. It's expected to be high along the I-95 corridor. RSV, not really much of a concern. Flu, highest concern for that would be down in southwest Connecticut, closest to New York City. But again, it's not that big of a concern. And of course, COVID-19, it's expected to be moderate to high along the I-95 corridor. And again, up near the Hartford area as well. Continuing down here, let's come down to Washington, D.C. High levels, very high levels of uh, COVID expected. Highest levels on the chart. And when we come down to flu levels, it is moderate to high at this time for flu. RSV is near moderate. And influenza-like illness is at the highest possible level. So if you're in the D.C. area, you do want to pay very close attention. Uh, mask up if you can. I mean, there's no excuse. You should be masking in the D.C. area because this is truly concerning. Let's take a look at Florida. 
we'll jump south and florida here you can see for influenza like illness uh, orlando is expected to be at the highest level of concern now as is the tampa bay area the rest of the state there are a ton of moderate to near high areas even in the panhandle there are a couple counties i know it's more rural out there but there's a couple counties that are expected to be moderate to high for influenza like illness which again keep in mind for all these areas i'm showing you we're in the summer months now folks uh we shouldn't be seeing influenza like illness this high at this time of year but here you go rsv the highest concern for that in florida is in the tampa bay area uh orlando just a low it, there, there's a little bit of coloring there but not terribly concerning and then we come up here to the flu numbers and flu highest coloring that we see is in the tampa bay area and COVID-19, yes, COVID-19 is expected to be moderate to high in Miami, again up in Tampa Bay, Orlando, and moderate expected in Jacksonville, and also near Tallahassee, Florida. Then coming down here, Illinois. We have been continuously watching Illinois be high in the Chicago area. That continues to be the case. It's not at the highest level on the chart, but it's not far off from it for COVID. Flu, there is a moderate level a flu expected by this model in the Chicago area now. Coming down to RSV, eh, just a little bit of coloring in Chicago area. And influenza-like illness is a big problem in the Chicago area and has been for multiple weeks. We're also seeing some moderate levels down here in central Illinois. And then again down here in southwest Illinois. All right, moving on to, let's check Kentucky. We haven't done that, have we? Influenza-like illness in Kentucky, Louisville area is expected to be highest, but there are a few other areas of uh, moderate concern. RSV is not a big concern. Flu is not a big concern. And COVID-19, yes, this is a concern in a couple areas. As you get up near Cincinnati, Ohio, it's expected to be moderate to high, and you also have moderate to high near Louisville, Kentucky. Let's come down here and check Michigan. Michigan, moderate to high COVID-19 levels in Detroit area expected. Flu is expected to be low. There's a little bit of coloring in Detroit area, so that's interesting. RSV, again, a little bit of coloring in Detroit area. And influenza-like illness is highest in the southern portion of the state, especially around Detroit. Coming down here, now we want to check New Jersey than New York, and influenza-like illness is expected to be the highest level in northern New Jersey. This has been continuing to be a problem week after week. I don't see any signs of that changing anytime soon because of the summer travel. And RSV, a little bit of coloring near New York City. Flu, a little bit of coloring near New York City, almost moderate here. I believe that's Bergen County. And COVID-19, uh, moderate to high, even in an extreme area near New York City in the northern half of the state and near moderate levels for much of the southern half of the state. You come here near, I believe this is uh, Burlington or Candom County, and you do actually have a high level expected. Now let's take a look at New York State. New York State is expected to be worse around the New York City metro areas for all of the four of the categories. You do also have some high levels of COVID-19 forecast in the western portion of the state and up near the capital region. Let's go to flu. There is expected to be moderate to near high levels of flu in New York City. Again, not terribly normal for this time of the year. RSV, moderate to near high levels in New York City. And influenza-like illness is expected to be really bad in the new york city metro area which is not normal for this time of the year at all look at this it's expected to be actually off the charts there's that black area showing up again which is much higher than 20 people within a five minute walk of your area moderate to high counties showing up in western new york even the lower hudson valley and you get up here near saratoga albany moderate levels expected moving on to ohio Ohio for influenza-like illness. Near Cincinnati, moderate to high levels. You do have one county that is extreme, not too far from Dayton. Also, Cleveland is expected to be high. How about RSV? RSV is expected to be low, as is flu, though you do see some coloring near Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. COVID-19 is expected to be highest in the Cleveland area, moderate near Columbus, and moderate near high, also near Cincinnati as well. Continuing on down here, let's come down to Texas. This is an important one. 
Texas is seeing some moderate to high levels of COVID-19 forecasted in the major city areas. The rural areas are not doing too bad. Flu levels are not too bad. You do see some coloring near Dallas and also near Houston as well. RSV, you see a little bit of coloring. Influenza-like illness is a big problem in the Dallas area, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. All the major cities are seeing it. Even out here, I believe this is El Paso. And you're seeing some higher levels as well. And even in a few rural counties. So Texas, that is something we are going to have to watch. Virginia, influenza-like illness. Closest to the east is where you're seeing problems. And then you go to RSV. Not terrible. A little bit of coloring near D.C. Flu is not expected to be terrible. Though, look near D.C. Moderate to high. Also eastern Virginia. But the rest of the state is fine. COVID-19 is forecast to continue to rise in the D.C. area and in the North Lock area, Richmond area. Uh, you're expected to see a continuing rise in COVID-19 numbers. And we'll just do one more state. How about we end on Washington State, shall we? COVID-19 expected to be low to moderate in the Seattle area. Flu, not terrible. RSV, not terrible. Influenza-like illness is definitely your biggest problem in the state. Not terribly higher than the COVID-19 levels, but it is something that we're going to be continuing to watch here. Alrighty, that does it for the Hubbub data, or Hubbub world forecast for this week. We looked at their model. I will post a link to their model down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. And until I see you again next time, Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.